The KH-9 Hexagon, often referred to by its codename Big Bird, was a highly sophisticated photographic reconnaissance satellite employed by the United States from 1971 to 1986. In the context of the Cold War, a period marked by intense geopolitical tensions and an arms race between the U.S. and the Soviet Union, the KH-9 represented a breakthrough in space-based surveillance. It was part of a lineage of reconnaissance satellites developed to monitor Soviet military activities, providing unprecedented intelligence that was critical for maintaining a strategic advantage. Designed and manufactured by Lockheed, the KH-9 carried two primary stereo cameras capable of capturing high-resolution images of vast expanses of the Earth's surface. This satellite's capabilities exemplified the growing reliance on space technologies for national security during this period, fundamentally reshaping the nature of intelligence gathering. One of the most notable features of the KH-9 hexagon was its use of physical photographic film an older technology by today's digital standards, but one that was groundbreaking at the time. The satellite captured images on film, which was then physically returned to Earth in specially designed re-entry capsules. These capsules would descend through the atmosphere, and many were caught mid-air by recovery aircraft over the Pacific Ocean. This system allowed for the safe retrieval of critical surveillance data, which was then analyzed by U.S. intelligence agencies. The re-entry vehicles were part of a complex system that ensured the successful delivery of information that was crucial to understanding Soviet military deployments, missile capabilities, and the construction of infrastructure related to nuclear weapons. The KH-9 was particularly valuable in the context of arms control agreements, such as the Strategic Arms Limitation Talks, SALT, which sought to curtail the number and development of strategic nuclear weapons between the U.S. and the Soviet Union. As the two superpowers engaged in negotiations, the U.S. needed to verify Soviet compliance with these treaties, and space-based reconnaissance provided the means to do so without the need for direct on-the-ground inspections, which were politically and logistically difficult. The images captured by the KH-9 were instrumental in confirming the deployment and reduction of Soviet missile systems and strategic bombers. Without the satellite's surveillance capabilities, it would have been challenging for the U.S. to maintain confidence in the integrity of these agreements, which were essential to reducing the likelihood of nuclear conflict. The declassification of the KH-9 program in 2011 shed new light on its critical role in U.S. military and intelligence operations. For decades, the existence of this satellite was kept highly secret, known only to those within the defense and intelligence communities. When the program was declassified, the scale and sophistication of the KH-9's achievements became apparent. Analysts and historians recognized the satellite's contributions not only to Cold War-era surveillance, but also to the evolution of reconnaissance technology. The images captured by the KH-9 were not only used to monitor Soviet military assets, but also to gather environmental data and map previously inaccessible regions. The satellite's impressive imaging capabilities even allowed analysts to observe construction projects troop movements, and missile silo development with remarkable clarity, showcasing the extraordinary reach of space-based intelligence. Moreover, the KH-9 program highlighted the complex intersection of technology, intelligence, and geopolitics during the Cold War. The investment in and deployment of such an advanced satellite system illustrated the growing dependence on space as a domain of strategic competition. As both the U.S. and the Soviet Union sought to outpace each other technologically, the ability to monitor adversaries from space became a central component of national security. This technological race extended beyond military applications, influencing space exploration and the development of new communication systems. In many ways, the KH-9 represented the zenith of analog-era reconnaissance before the transition to digital technologies that would later define satellite intelligence. In retrospect, the KH-9 hexagon served as a testament to human ingenuity and the lengths to which nations would go to safeguard their security during times of international tension. Its impact on Cold War dynamics cannot be overstated, as it provided the U.S. with a clearer understanding of the Soviet military's capabilities and intentions, thereby helping to prevent miscalculations that could have escalated into direct conflict. 
As a cornerstone of satellite reconnaissance history, the KH-9 not only shaped U.S. intelligence and defense strategies in the latter half of the 20th century, but also left a lasting legacy on the development of space-based technologies, which continue to play an essential role in modern surveillance and intelligence operations.